Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with a stash video. Uh, I haven't made one of these in a while, so I thought it would be nice if I went and did that. So I have hauled all of my diamond paintings out here onto my dining room table. Please excuse the rest of the mess. There's a lot of them. You can't even see the top of the pile. So I'm going to start with these down here and then kind of work my way through the stack and I will show you guys what I have as I go. Let me start with what my budget kits is what I'm calling them. So these are all things that I have either gotten myself or I've picked up from product reviews that I am saving either for events or just because I wanted to do them and I just haven't gotten around to them yet. So I have a rainbow canvas that is for uh, a pride event. I've got a stained glass butterfly. You guys know I love my stained glass looking ones. I've got, what is this one? Oh, this one is for my DP for vets event. That will be coming in November for keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that. This is a bunny that I got to do for my sister for her collection. It's this cute little bunny with glasses. I'm going to cut it down. It's a 40 by 40 and she only has 30 by 30. So I'm going to end up cutting it down, but I just thought it was super cute. So I'm going to be doing that one for her. Uh, I've got a Santa on a beach for a Christmas in July. These are another flag for my DP for vets event. And then I have, uh, what are these two? Oh, I've got a, another rainbow kit for Pride if I want to do that. And then this one is a secret. I've got all of those. So there are eight of those. Then I have one Craft Pack Canada that I am going to get to someday, I swear. Susan sent it to me. It is a flamingo. It's super cute. And I'm going to get to it. I just don't know when. Okay, and then let's see, my four uh, Paint Gym Minis, I have the Rainbow Edition, which I'm going to save for uh, Pride. I have the Ocean Edition, I have the Doggies Edition, and I have the Museum Edition. So I've got four kits of those, so I'm at 12 Honestly, I don't remember where I was last time for my diamond painting stash. So I don't know how accurate I'm going to be keeping track of if I've actually gone down. So I'm just going to count it like I have. <laughs> and I, the last time I remember counting, I was somewhere around 90 something, I think. It could have gotten down to 60 something and so maybe I'm fooling myself and I bought a lot more. When, when I show you where I end up, that'll be where I'm at and then we'll see when I go back and do this next time if I've managed to cut it down any. Okay, I'm gonna clear off all of this stuff so we can dive into the left-hand side of the table and I will be right back, don't go anywhere. I also should mention that I have several canvases that are hanging up downstairs in my basement. I have down there, I have two uh, heaven and earth designs, plus I have an additional heaven and earth, which is on my workspace table that I am currently working on. And then I have a Treasure Studios art hanging downstairs. I have unboxed it, but I have not actually started working on it. And then I have two other, one is a whip, one has just been unboxed, and that is my Diamond Art Club SpongeBob. And the other one is my Dreamer Designs Patience, which I am currently working on. So hopefully by the time you see this, I'll be done with that one, but we'll see. Okay, so let me start on this side of the table because these are kind of my one-offs, um, some of them. Uh, as you can see, let me just start here. I have one tube from Diamond Painting Deutschland. It is another Josephine wall. It is called Melody in Pink. And I'll try to remember to stick pictures over here somewhere if I remember or if I can find them. Uh, that is a particular, I bought it at the same time that I bought my Diana and it has 300 colors, which is why I have not done it yet because it is a huge project. 
I had intended to do it this year for the Big Sucker Canvas event, but didn't get around to opening it. And I just don't think at this point that I'm gonna have time. So yeah, that one's getting put off for another year. Uh, in this one right here, this is another, um, another, this is my second DIY moon shop. Uh, I bought two and I did one last year called a My Cho. This one is um, from uh, Medusa. Can't remember the name of the artist. I will stick it down here. Medusa something, I can't remember the name, um, called Gamer Girl. So that's my one diamond moon, DIY moon shop. Then I have, of course, seven craftablies. I don't know if you can see all of them, but I have three of them in tubes. So I have uh, A Thousand and One Nights by Elena Lazareva. I have this adorable puppy purse. This is one that I bought during their um, Help Us Out sale. I have this one called Midnight Warrior, which uh, I think also I bought, no, I didn't, I had this one. Then I bought this one during their Help Us Out sale, which is uh, Furry Familiar. And I got, oof, this one, which is a big one, called Ronin Rising during their sale. And then the other two are also in tubes. That's the word I'm looking for. This one, this is the one that I was going to do for the Dakotathon called Angel of Justice. I just, it's so big, I don't think I'm gonna get to it this year, so. I have it, but probably not going to do it. And then my last craftably is this one. Let me see if I can get these where you guys can see them. This is called uh, Moonbeam. And I love the colors in that one, but again, I don't know if I will get to it. So I have one DIY moon, the one diamond painting Deutschland, and then I have seven craftablies. So keep a running total if you're paying attention, I'll total it all up at the end. Okay, so now before the rest of these back here start a cascade, I'm going to move all these out of the way, shove some stuff over, and then we'll continue. I'm gonna leave the Diamond Art Clubs for last because I have the most of those, but let me clear some stuff away and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, let me move a couple of these Diamond Art Clubs out of the, well, I guess just one. So from here over are non-diamond art clubs, and then all of those are diamond art clubs. So let me start with these. So I have two uh, diamond painting shops. I really love her shop, and I'm gonna get to these eventually. I don't know when, but eventually. I apologize for the weird lighting and shadows here. Um, this is uh, Zodiac by Muka. And then the second diamond painting shop I have is called Sleepy Time. And again, I will try to stick pictures over there as I'm doing this. I really love both of these. So yeah, when I get to those, so I've got two diamond painting shop. I've got here two jaded gem shop. The first one is called Owen and Aurora. And I bought two from her, but I've not done either one of them yet, as you can see. And then this one is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith, which is the 20-sided uh, dice girl. So I have two from Jaded Gem Shop. I have one from Mary's Diamonds, and I've actually unboxed this one on the channel. This one is called Zero Two. There's no, I guess there's a little picture of it right there. And then I have one Diamond Dots, which is my cute little seahorse picture you can see picture of it right there. And then I have three Oraloas. I've got one called Craft Room Chaos that I've unboxed on the channel. I've got one called In Love that I have unboxed on the channel. Those two were sneak peeks. And then this one I got myself because I love this artist. This, ugh, and I apologize again for the shadows here. Let me see. I can move these out of the way so you guys can see that one. It's called uh, Totem Lacorn, I think. 
It's a little girl with her little unicorn, winged unicorn. Okay, so that's two Jaded Gem Shop, two Diamond Painting Shop, three Oraloa, and one Mary's Diamonds. Let me clear these off. We'll get into my last two, which are Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I think we're down to the rest. So I have over here on the left, you can see five Dreamer Designs stacked up. They are my cute little snowman with presents is the name of it. So that's one. Then I have the Gingerbread Lighthouse. I have Tarot Town, which I might do during Pride. It just depends on what else I have going on. I may have too many other things going on to get it done then, but we'll see. I have Victorian Mansion, that is the Dominic Davidson. And then the last one is called Autumn Sun. So those are my five Dreamer designs. And like I said, I have one more that is currently on my work table. So I'm slowly working my way through those. And then I'll start with a few of the Diamond Art Club. And hmm, you know what? I'm gonna take a break, clear off the Dreamer designs, and then we'll start with the Diamond Art Club. So I will be right back, don't go anywhere. Okay, so we are down to my Diamond Art Club. And as you can see, it's still quite a lot. So I'm just gonna start going through them and I will stick pictures over there somewhere, on the screen somewhere, of what they are as I tell you. So this one is actually on my artist series. This one is called Love Your Inner Child. I have this one called Bubble Fairies. This is actually, now that I finished Jules and Vern, this is my oldest Diamond Art Club. So I do want to get to that one. This is one of my newer purchases. This is called Clementine. This is one that I bought when I bought the Looney Tunes ones that came out. I have, and these are in no particular order. This is also on my artist series list. This is uh, Close Encounters. This is my alien one. I really want to get to that one. I love the pastel colors in that one. This one is called Shaman by Lori Pringle. This is one that I may do for my DP for Pets event, which is in June, which is coming up pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. I have The Universe in a Jar, which is a Spangler. I have my Fiona Butterfly Dragon. I actually may do this one pretty soon. It's on my artist series list, but this is one that was listed as having glow-in-the-dark drills, which I was unaware of, so I'm curious to see what it looks like. I have my Flower Crazy. This was one that was on my gotta gotta have it list and I finally got it when they restocked it. I've got Sunday Delight. This is another Randall Spangler and I just thought this one was super cute. Love dragons, love ice cream, so I got that one. I have Jasper C. This is probably my oldest Diamond Art Club after Bubble Fairies. Uh, I saw that one and just fell in love with it. It's that abstract paint pour looking kind and I love those. This one is Belly Dancer. And this one, which I would love to get to, but I don't know what I'm going to, is called Phoenix. These are some of the biggest kits I have. This one is called Dragon Attack. Would love, love, love to get to that one. Don't know when that will happen. I have Notre Dame Knight, which I really want to get to that had kind of been on the back burner and then my husband and I watched a documentary on them rebuilding Notre Dame after the fire it was fascinating and so I was like oh, I should do that one uh, this one is called spirit of flight this is a Josephine wall and then my stacks getting a little too big here let me do one more and then I'll move those and then this one is shaman wolf shaman by Dean Russo this was another thing Another kit that I bought thinking that I would do it for my DP for pets. Not sure which one I will do, if I will do that one or Shaman, but one of those. 
Okay, let me move some of these big ones out of the way and I will be right back. Not a huge amount left to go. Let's start on this side. So I've got Elizabeth. I'm hoping to start this one in May for Mandy's Mind Blowing May event. That one sounded like a lot of fun. I've never done a Mandy Manzano and that's the only one I've got. So I would like to do that one. This is Yorkie and Magic Books. Again, another one that I bought for my DP for Pets event. Then getting again into the, some of the bigger ones, I've got Ariel Angel. I love this one. No idea when I will get to it, but love, love, love the art. This one came in the first Diamond Art Club mystery box. This one is called Sunken Ship. Again, don't know when I'll get to it, but love, love, love it. And then I have Treasure Quest. This is another Spangler. Dragons, so cute. And then I've got, ooh, the Christmas Gnome Trio. I bought this to make for my sister. She has a lot of gnomes at Christmas, and I thought it would be a good project to give her. Haven't gotten around to it yet. And then I saw when Diamond Art Club was listing their special drills that again, this one has glow in the dark drills, which I was unaware of. And I don't know if the, it's a new version that has glow in the dark or this one does, but that moved it up slightly on my get it ready to do list. This one I want to get to too. Birth of the Teratov Kieran. Love, love, love this piece of art. Can't wait to start that one. And then my last really big ones here. Sunnyside Antiques. This one I got because it's one of those where you just get because it's so large, you get basically a ton of little vignettes to do as you work through the painting. So it's like doing a bunch of little mini paintings. So someday I'll get to that. Another Spangler, the Literate Dragon. Again, someday I'll get to it. I've got another dragon, in case you're sensing a theme here, Little Helpers. This is another Christmas one with dragons, not Spangler dragons, but dragons. And then this one is also another kit that I got in Diamond Art Club's first mystery box. This is a mystery fantasy kit, also dragons. And it is by the same artist that did the little helpers. So since I like little helpers, I'm pretty sure I'll like this one. So that's why I kept this one out of the mystery box. Because I did give some of the stuff that I got in the mystery box away during my 12 days of Christmas. So I'm down to the last six here. So let's see. What I've got left. So I have customized bookshelf. It's a Spangler and I want to customize the names of the books. Just haven't got around to when I'm going to fit that in yet. I've got Queen Zara. I've got this little cutie which is called Flirting which is a little hummingbird with a fairy. Really love that one. It's so cute. And then I've got Afternoon Tea, which is another Spangler. And then I've got one hiding back here. This one I wanted for a while. I wasn't sure I would like it, but I saw so many people doing it and I really liked how it turned out. This one is called Wishes. I was afraid it was going to be too much purple, but I really like it. And then of course I have my two Looney Tunes. I got Daffy Duck and Marvin the Martian. Marvin is definitely going to get completed before Daffy, but yeah, let me, let me scoop these all back out of your face now that I'm done talking about all of them. So just as a recap, I had one Treasure Studios art, three Heaven and Earth designs, with one of those being a work in progress, two diamond painting shops, one Mary's Diamonds, one diamond painting Deutschland, one DIY Moon, one craft pack, one diamond dots, two jaded gem shop, six dreamer designs of which one of those is a work in progress four paint gem seven craftably three oraloa 35 diamond art club which one of those is my spongebob that i have unboxed and kitted up but have not worked on yet and then my eight little budget kits so that if you're good at math and add it up as i told you all of those if not, I'll just stick it down here in the bottom of the screen and you can see I am currently sitting at 76 kits.
I do have some product reviews that I did not count in this because I have not done them yet. Yeah, so I'm not counting them, my prerogative. <laughs> I didn't purchase them, they're just kits that I got sent to do a product review of and I will be doing them, but I'm not gonna count them in my stash as of yet. So currently I'm sitting at 76 and I think that's probably more than I had at the end of 2022. And I know I've bought kits because I bought stuff for the Craftably sale, which I had not intended on. And then I've purchased four, I think, from Diamond Art Club that I had not intended to buy. Every time I do one of these stash videos, because I have to lug them all out into my dining room, onto the dining room table, uh, I just don't have enough room, obviously, from the pile to show them to you where I normally film. Uh, but I feel guilty and frustrated and happy at the same time. I mean, I this is a hobby that I struggle with because I do the YouTube channel and so I use that as an excuse a lot of times for, oh, I need to get this, oh, I need to get that. And so it allows me to enable myself, which is not a great thing. Um, and not that, that any of that is untrue, but I just don't know how healthy that is for my mindset sometimes. Happy that I am, you know, we have enough abundance, we have enough to pay our bills and then some, and so I'm able to afford this as a hobby because I know a lot of people would, you know, love to have my stash, but guilty and frustrated because I feel like I have too many things and I'm never going to get to them. What I have done, what I did at the end of last year and what I've been trying to do this year is really focus on, does this kit bring me joy? I'm Marie Kondoing my diamond painting stash. And there were several last year that when I purchased them, I thought I was in love with. And after they sat in my stash for some over a year, I just thought, you know, these are not kits that I'm ever gonna get to. I'm gonna spread the wealth and I'm gonna share them around with some people. And uh, because of Crystal and her generosity, that kind of sparked me to do the 12 days of Christmas giveaway that I did. And I got rid of some kits um, and gifted them on to other people. And hopefully everybody was happy with whatever they received. I don't know if I need to do that again because I'm kind of down to, ooh, I really love this one. Ooh, I really love this one. There might be one or two in this whole stash that I'm like, mm, I could probably part with that one, uh, but not too many more than that. And so that's part of my frustration is, you know, I'm already never gonna get to all of these. And I could treat it like a collection, you know, like it's just nice to have these and maybe someday I'll get to them. You know, if that's two years down the road, does it matter? No, not really. I think some of it is just in our run up to, we, we hopefully are really close to getting our permanent residency in Canada and thinking about our move and all of the things that we need to do. I just don't know <laughs> how, how much do I wanna hang on to these because I will have to move them when we move because I definitely wouldn't leave them behind. Uh, and what does that look like? Because, you know, probably most of them because they're still in their shrink wrap and everything I could transport them on a truck with no issue. I don't know how comfortable I would be with that though. I mean, they get here via a truck, so it probably is no big deal, but so yeah, I, I mean, I have visions of us renting a U-Haul and doing it that way, but I don't even know what the logistics of that would be trying to cross the border. I guess we could just load up our cars and put them all in the trunk, but we'd probably fill my trunks with just diamond painting. So I don't know that my family would be too happy with that. Yeah, you're going to have to leave your clothes behind because we're packing my diamond painting. Sorry. So my stash is sitting at 76 and we'll see how I do. I'm going to try and do a lot more diamond painting over the next month or so than I have been. And hopefully that will allow me to get some things done. If not, it's all good. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the stash. How big do you have one? If you do, how big is it? How do you feel about it? This was a bit of a long one, so thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.